Probably best known for playing rugby league. My career spanned over 14 years playing State of Origin for New South Wales and also playing for Australia. That was the highlight of my career. So I got the Viennese waltz. I've never heard of it in my life before. I thought it was a biscuit. Speaking of big arms, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm spewing. Nicole, I was going to wear a singlet and they wouldn't let me. And that's my opinion. I'm going to find a, a pair of tights with the appropriate colour. They found, a, they found a pair of tights, but they weren't a red colour to fit me. But I realise you, you took your school all the way. You know, I just Do you want me know. to send you a pair of tights? <laughs> <laughs> no, but my sister asked for a pair of underwear. <laughs> I just, I was just going and just, uh, just doing one of these ones, <laughs> and I've got you laughing, and that's broke the ice. <laughs> so I think you got to take back what you said. Um. <laughs> Let's get things first. I'm here for you, and uh, I just want to know what I should call you, Mr. Rock, the Rock. Well, well you I'm... got some big ass arms, man. You're a big dude, so you, you can call me whatever you want to call. I'm here with the very talented and beautiful Jessica Beale. Jessica, welcome to the Maddie John Show. Thank you. Congratulations on the movie. I, I loved it. It's fun, isn't it? Fire! Boom! Now, growing up, uh, were you an A-Team fan or were you, like myself, more of a Punky Brewster fan? <laughs> I was more of a Punky Brewster fan. Oh, I love it. You kept calling retake, retake on the kissing scene. Yeah, because I'm smart. <laughs> You've got a great physique and I was, I'm jealous of your arms because they're unbelievably tight. Well, I spend a lot of time in the gym, but I, I hike all the time. The opportunity for you to fire back with that I had a good body has gone, but that's fine. That's fine. Would you it? like to take your shirt off? And take it off. <laughs> it's a bit sloppy at the moment. <laughs> I just wanted your advice on whether... So you get, you get mobbed, right? I, I'm, not at your level, don't get me wrong. Nowhere near your level, but... Does that work? It's interesting choice. <laughs> Bought Beck the garden patch, which she killed in a month. I can't help it if it like dies. I tried to water it. It's raining. That's where they get their water from. Yeah. What about this? What's that? I don't know. I think that's a weed, babe. She murdered plants, basically. Two hundred and fifty dollars worth of plants. That's what we've got. So. <laughs> oh, what's your nice shoes? Ugh. I'll try and remember to water the garden. I've got a lot on. Why don't you water it? You know how I water it differently. <laughs> That's true. That's probably why they're dying. Over 6.5 million children are barely surviving in extreme poverty, living and sometimes dying on the streets. These are Colombia's most vulnerable, a generation that faces some major social challenges and living with new threats, such as HIV AIDS and a lack of education. Many of these kids are just fighting daily to stay alive.